So in this video, I will be showing you how you get from this differential equation to the form you're more familiar with, y equals to aekx. Or in some other countries, this x would be time because it's growth and decay, so it's basically a growth with respect to time. But in this video, I'll just be using x. So we start off with moving the variables and separating them to either side. So we have dy on y equals to k times dx. Next, we take the integral of both sides. So we know the derivative of 1 and y is just ln of y. And we also know the integral of k with respect to x is just kx and add some constants. There would be a constant on this side and a constant on this side, but if you add them both or subtract, you get one constant, so we just leave it with one c here. If we take the inverse log of both sides, we have y equals to e to the kx plus c. So using our log laws, we also know that if we have x a plus b, this is the same as x to the power of a times x to the power of b. So we would have y equals to e to the kx times e to the c. And what we know about e to the power of c is that this is just a number because e raised to some number is just some number. So we, we call this number a and we, we, call, we denote it e to the power of c. So this a is our constant, so if we substitute this into our equation, we have a e to the power of kx. So if we were to call our y, the population, p, equals to a e k with respect to time. So say we wanted to find the population with respect to time. Our k value determines the instantaneous growth rate. If k is less than zero, our population is decaying exponentially. If it's greater than zero, our population is increasing exponentially. t is time and p is population. a will be given as probably the initial growth. So say you start off with 2,000 people and over time you want to find the population growth, you will call a 2,000. 